I love you, Mario. That's all I had to say to you. Goodbye. Everyone loves Mario. Everyone loves Mario. The wonderful Super Mario. <laughs> Good chunk of moons. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm up to five. I'm now hiding five balls behind my back on my chair. Wow. This would be weird when this episode goes up, because, like, we just finished <laughs> Metal Gear episode 24 when we record this one. So there's some continuity. Go watch that episode again. Uh, oh, an another very meaningful choice, I'm uh -huh. sure. <laughs> Which one do you want to do first? Doesn't really matter, though. Yeah, we're just going to pick the Snow Kingdom. It, it does sound splendid. Yeah. But uh, instead of going to the Snow Kingdom, the very first two kingdoms you go to in the game, you don't really, like, get to hang out in them. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're actually going to go back and revisit those. I, I love that linear lineup that just looks like the CTA map. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very good. Yeah. You're on the golden line. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, going all the way back to the Cap Kingdom uh, from the the first episode, and we oh, you mean Purgatory? Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, Purgatory. Uh, but yeah, we didn't pick up like any moons there at all. Uh, we were just briefly what? there for tutorial stuff. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What, what, what is this Lego architecture series piece of shit? What is going on here? <laughs> Yeah, that, uh, those are the other types of things you can buy with purple coins. So when I bought costumes, I had enough left over to buy one of the souvenirs. Uh, and yeah, that you just buy a giant New Donk City building that lights up. All right, Cap Kingdom. Uh, bring up the brochure. Mm-hmm. Haberdashed dreams. <laughs> uh, I like that their industry is hats and airships. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, where's the lie? Come on, yeah. just... <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and I just like that they they call their, their houses mobile homes, but when I think of mobile homes, you know, I think of something very different than these super nice hat mm -hmm, houses. Mm -hmm. I oh, just you think of my place in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Or my place in high school. Yeah. <laughs> the sometimes bridge. It's only sometimes there. Sorry. Mm. Oh. We gotta really fix that, honestly. Um But also on the map screen, you can like there are is a list of like all the moons so you can kinda easily oh, track handy, what you don't yeah. have. Cap Kingdom only has 17, but uh, a lot of the, the later ones, like uh, the Sand Kingdom, Come has... Just show, show me the donk. Give me the donk count. Yeah, like Sand Kingdom has fucking 69 Whoa. moons. That's a lot. And we spent a decent... thought I was going to say something else. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> we spent a lot of time there. We still only have like a quarter of the moons there. And Metro Kingdom, very similar amount. 66 moons there. Oh, um, wow. I was expecting that to have... Like, if Sand Kingdom had 69, I was expecting uh, Metro Kingdom to have at least 90. Yeah. Or triple I mean, digits, even. Th there is something we'll be able to do later on that introduces even more moons to kingdoms, so yeah. Mm, okay. But by the end of the game, Metro Kingdom will have more than 100 moons in it. Okay. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, Thank also you for protecting my fragile ego and telling me <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> I really appreciate our friendship. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, also on that map screen, it, it, it keeps a track of all the souvenirs you collected and all the, uh, stuff you've captured. There's a little more than 50 things you can capture in this game, so it's a lot. It is a lot. Mario, remember when you were cursed to inhabit the soul of a frog? <laughs> ah! He likes it now, though. <laughs> he likes being a frog. I mean, it just brings back memories of the frog suit from Mario 3 for him. Mm -hmm. It's really nostalgic. Oh, ho, ho. yep. Oh, Secrets. there's gonna be a cap up there, mm -hmm. or a moon. Whoop! <laughs> How did I not touch that? Phew. Yeah, 
Uh, Hat Kingdom is, you know, since it's the first world, it has some pretty easy moons. Uh, but it's... I don't know. I like this this kingdom just because it's, like, so tiny and condensed. It's some, very chill. Yeah. There, but also very spooky. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... There's very few enemies overall in the Cap Kingdom. Like, there's just some Goombas, and that's about it. So, yeah, it's just kind of relaxing to basically just collect stuff and not really have to worry about dying mm -hmm. or anything. Oh, there's another one. Uh, this is one of only a handful of moons that you can only get if you use the motion controls. Because Frog <laughs> Jump don't reach it, but if you shake the controller, you jump way higher. Uh-huh. Yep. That, that is one I've seen a lot of people go like, How the fuck do I get this moon? It's just, shake the controller. I know you don't want to, but just do it. <laughs> just this once. Shake it's it. okay. I I know you have very tightly held beliefs. <laughs> Swallow your pride and shake a dang controller, okay? Shake it. Okay. Come on, just remember the days when you enjoyed Wii Sports. <laughs> Fucking shake it. Everybody enjoyed Wii Sports. There's Everybody no shame. Liked Wii sports. Come on, the bowling at least. The bowling was great. My dad still tells me his bowling scores sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. My dad, uh, Wii Sports was the only game he would play, and uh, he got very good at bowling, where he could consistently bowl 300 every time he played. Nice. It's the, it's the one video game I can say my dad got legitimately really good at. <laughs> oh, and yeah, a lot of the doors here were covered with debris the first time, but are under, unlocked now. Mm -hmm. Um... This is a challenge where, obviously, you're supposed to be using the, the frog, because everything's really high up. Um, because this is the second time around, I'm actually going to show ways to do some of these areas without using captures. Sure. Um, it's a lot harder, as Mario <laughs> only, uh, but it's, it's a fun way to see how far you can stretch his jumps. Mm -hmm. uh, it turns out pretty far, especially if you can bounce on the hat good. <laughs> Uh, one move I don't use a lot, but yeah, just bouncing off the hat from the ground. Sometimes Ooh. this gets you just a little bit more distance than jumping normally or doing a backflip. Also easier to grab coins if you, uh, shake the controller, because you can... Your, your homing hat works on coins as well. <laughs> and this part is... I had to practice this part a decent amount. It's... this is a hard jump to do. Oh, nice! Yeah, and like... Unless you go in first person, you might not even notice this moon is here. But it's way up here. <laughs> but yeah, like, I've, I've talked about it before, how there are runs of trying to see, you know, can... Is it possible to beat the game without any captures? And I... Don't think I've seen any captureless runs yet, except for, like using glitches, maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but they've got it down to... I think they've got it down to one mandatory capture. <laughs> so, yeah, this is proof that glitching is actually the most ethical way to play a video game. Yeah. In some cases. <laughs> and of course... Whoops. Uh, I was just so elated that I was able to do that really hard jump at the end, I forgot to get that other little tiny moon. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it's right up here, though. It's not hard to reach. Um, but yeah, one of the easiest ways to get up to hard to reach places is just this ground pound jump. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot higher than your normal jump. Oh, it doesn't even make you do an extra challenge. You just get to fall? Mm-hmm. That's very forgiving. Yeah. I mean, it's the first kingdom. I but. guess. I will grab a frog for a quick second, just because uh, there, there is one thing in here that you really can't, like, do is just normal ass Mario, as far as I know. But that's just getting all these coins. Mm. Very satisfying, though. <laughs> Man, I've never seen a frog jump so high in my life. Mm. I am hanging out with the wrong frogs. Gotta get, gotta get with the cool frogs. Yeah. Cool frogs from the spooky city next door. I'm sorry if any of my frog friends are listening to this. Don't. I didn't mean it. I'm. Please don't take it personally. Whoa. 
Cat Mario. <laughs> Is there anything you can do to help these poor citizens of, of Hatland? Unfortunately, they're just very bummed that all their hands are messed up right now. Uh, later on in the game, they do they are able to fix up their hats, though. Oh, the, good. Their town will stop. The, they will extinguish all the smoldering embers in their town. Uh, getting nice, nice tuxedo from Mario. Uh, some people claim this this outfit is a reference to a previous Mario thing. I don't quite know if it is because it's not like one to one mm -hmm. or anything. But they claim this is based on the outfit Mario wears for the uh, cover art of Super Mario All Stars on the Super Nintendo. No, I totally see that. <laughs> like he, it's the like, same hat. Mm hmm. And and the he's wearing I mean, the jacket. Maybe it's not but... one to one, but who says it is? Yeah, it's. I guess, you, you, you know, can have I... the inspiration without perfectly matching. Yeah, I I, I guess I'll say I'll, I'll buy it then. The hat's basically the same, at least. Mm hmm. Ooh. Yeah, another hatless challenge. It's pretty easy one though. Uh, if you're doing the the little spin ball thing here, there is like normally a timing. You, uh, for, like, getting a, a, a good boost. Because if you just, like, match the button, you get tiny boosts. And if you do it with right timing, you'll get, like, bigger boosts. Kind of like in Mario Kart or something. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, you gotta get them blue sparks out of your butt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, if you just want to just, like, go really fast, if you just shake the controller, you get, like, perfect boosts, like, rapid fire, so... <laughs> shake the controller! <laughs> Uh, and also, you know, the the first time around here, there were none of the purple coins were here. Mm -hmm. um, it's not until you revisit that they they come back. Uh, this their... let's play is definitely going to cause wrist soreness in some people. Yeah, <laughs> o only shake the controller if you're comfortable with it. There's, there's plenty of moons to go around. You don't need to get all of them to see everything in the game. But yeah, there are like four purple coins that everybody misses because they're really sneaky. Uh, it's easiest to get up here just with the frog, though. But it's just one of those instances of, like, they hid stuff behind you from the mm -hmm. entrance of the mm -hmm. room, but also oh, made look, it... Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's nice. It's a cat peach. And I said there is one mandatory capture that people have found so far for, for this game. I thought it was going to be this jump here, because it just seems so high that you can only do it with a frog. Like, it's just... it's really high. Yeah. Uh, but I messed around for a while, and I figured out you can do this frogless. <laughs> do a triple jump. Ta-da! Nice. Uh, the way this works, I have to play in slow motion to show how this really works. <laughs> trick jump! <laughs> trick jump! Trick jump! The, the triple jump, and throwing your hat, bouncing off it. But before I touch the wall, I let the hat fly back to me, press jump again, because you get a super teeny tiny boost of height when you jump after grabbing your hat, when it flies back to you. If you, if you do not jump after grabbing your hat there, you will not get enough height to clear that jump. It's really hard to do. Like, I, the, there was a solid, like, 20 attempts that I just cut out of me trying to get that jump right. Just revolutionizing the, uh, the hatless tech. Yeah. Uh, oh, also you can throw your hat straight upwards. Ooh. It's also another like, motion-only thing. You just jerk the controller straight up. Uh, it's not really a thing you ever really need to use, but it's there. Mm-hmm. And also, if and you it, just, like... And it let you leave those frogs in peace. Yeah, I don't have to yeah. torture these frogs by taking their soul for a little bit. I mean, you give it back. It's not that big. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you give it back, but I'm just guessing that Mario just like, oh, this is also another hard jump because you have like no room to make big jumps. Ta da! <laughs> you you got to get a decent amount of air with like a ground pound jump so that the hat is high enough so that when you bounce off it, you make the clearance to get over that railing. But, uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe when Mario possesses stuff, you know, he gives them their soul back, but I feel like the soul is never quite the same because there's a little bit of Mario left in it. Mm-hmm. 
But, but when they're being exchanged, is, is this sort of a rainbow oh. fish of souls? Whoa. By the end, Mario will just be a collection of all that he has touched. Oh my god. And his his original essential Mario-ness will be uh -huh. diluted to the point of, of basically being non-existent. Oh my god. He'll, he'll, he'll just be, be this gestalt entity. <laughs> Whoa. Mario is the oversoul. <laughs> Oh my god, I like this theory way more now. <laughs> now see, that's this is how Wario and Waluigi came to be, actually. Because he had too many different beings within him, and he had to split himself up into multiple beings. No, no, you've seen my theory, and oh, I no. stand by it. Okay, alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to put that up in the thread or something, because we have- I don't feel like reading it on the air, but I think people should know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll put it in the comments or something, too. <laughs> I really like these little side areas that just made out of these big blocks. Mm-hmm. Um, it probably it's the very, ones... I mean, it's playful, right? It's... Yeah. It looks like toys. It communicates that this is... This is fun time. Yeah. And it's, it's probably the stuff that feels most like you're back in Mario Galaxy. Mm-hmm. Also, very sneaky moon. Whoop! <laughs> That's devious. I... Did not find this one for a very long time. Like, after I beat the game, like, I came back here knowing, you know, there's the rule that areas like these always have two moons in them, with one always being, like, kind of hidden. Mm -hmm. And, like, I went through it multiple times and could not find that fucking moon. It was, like, one of the last, like, hundred moons I found in this game. Among the last hundred. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that I, means know, it's a hard one. Over... 800 moons. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. And, okay. and we thought Metal Gear would be a long one. Yeah, again, we won't be getting all of the moons in the Let's Play, though, because, uh, like, you can see everything in the game without, like, getting all the moons. And, you know, some of them are just like, oh, this one was hidden in the ground, or whatever. Like, anything that's... Any moon that's within one of these, like, stages or little side challenges, we'll be doing all of those, because those are all fun to see. Oh, this looks like fun. Yeah. I've... I'm wondering what we're doing in Ivan Ooze's swimming pool, but this <laughs> looks like fun. Goombas are fearless, man. <laughs> well, yeah, they keep going up against Mario. <laughs> they must have no sense of fear or self-preservation. Yeah. I wonder what the average lifespan of a Goomba is. Because in Paper Mario, they have families and grow old. <laughs> but in other Mario games, they, they, they feel more like they're like flies, you know? Mm -hmm. They live for a couple days and they're dead. They're, they're born mere minutes before they face Mario. They know no other life. <laughs> Man, just like and, the bullet bills. And the Koopas are not allowed to tell them. <laughs> oh, jeez. They're just raised on farms. They're like fungus. <laughs> they aren't even really creatures so much as, as they are, like, naturally occurring elements, you know? Wow. Like, it's, it's the whole chestnut thing. I think Koopas grow on trees, or Goombas do. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Koopas are clearly intelligent. Yeah, Koopas definitely... Uh... I mean, it, Koopas know how to play tennis, so there's got to be something in their heads there. I ain't seen a Goomba in Mario Tennis yet, so... Although, there is a Goomba in the new Mario Party. Hmm. So maybe there's something there. He knows Goombas know... There is documented footage that Goombas know how to ride a bike. <laughs> Yeah, there's just a lot of a lot of purple coins just really far out uh, in the clouds here. One? You're missing one? Yeah, I fucked up. Uh, it was back over here. Because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Because, uh, you know, I threw my hat upwards and grabbed four coins. I was like, oh, that's it, because the, the coins in this game are usually in groups of three or four. So I wasn't expecting a fifth one to be there.
Uh, but anyways, grabbing some more souvenirs for inside the, sh the, the hat ship. Well, that was a fun trip. I'm, I'm glad our hat got to visit its family. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, since we, we've gone to some of these kingdoms now, uh, we're going to start collecting more, more, uh, purple coins to get, like, a lot of the souvenirs, because right now we don't have too much. Got this nice frog, though. Mm hmm That's no way to treat your belongings. I'm sorry. Uh, M Mario does not understand the worth of anything. <laughs> I'm drowning in gold coins. <laughs> Wario can suck it. <laughs> 